Jalian Palmer bowed out of Renault and, for the time being at least, Formula One with a quiet run to 12th place in Sunday's Japanese Grand Prix at Suzuka. After almost two tough seasons with Renault that have yielded just two points finishes, Palmer announced on Saturday after qualifying he would be leaving the team at the end of the weekend, allowing it to complete the early signing of Carlos Sainz Jr. from Toro Rosso. Palmer started 18th at Suzuka after a grid penalty for an engine change before making his way up the order thanks to a long first stint on the soft compound tire. Palmer was unable to get in the fight for the final point with Felipe Massa and Fernando Alonso, eventually crossing the line 12th to mark a pointless end to his time with Renault. We had a solid last race, we started from the back and with one more lap, I think we could have had 10th, Palmer said. It's been a tough season but the team and I have been through a lot, I've been here since the start of this new era for the team. We've come a long way and I've enjoyed it. I wish the team all the best in the future. Renault F1 chief Cyril Abitboul added today was Jolyon's last race. It was particularly challenging as he had to start near the back due to grid penalties, but thanks to a good strategy and a solid race, he was able to move up six positions and finish 12th. His performance is another demonstration of his professionalism and his loyalty, and a very good way to bid farewell to the Renault family. We sincerely wish him the best. While F1 seats are still free with Williams, Toro Rosso and Sauber for 2018, Palmer is not thought to be in contention for them, leaving him on the sidelines in F1 for the time being. Follow at Luke Smith 1 Unconfirmed reports circulated this morning on social media that Sonoma Raceway might be directly affected by significant fires overnight in Napa and Sonoma counties appear to be wide of the mark. Sonoma Raceway released an update Monday morning confirming it is not at immediate risk. A statement from From Sonoma Raceway President and General Manager Steve Pages of 930 AM PT on Monday morning is below, with the track confirming additional updates will be shared as needed. All of us at Sonoma Raceway extend our heartfelt thoughts and prayers to those who have been touched by the devastating North Bay fires. Our facilities team and a number of local fire companies have been battling grassland fires on Cougar Mountain and elsewhere around our property, and at this point it does not appear any of the raceway structures or other facilities are at immediate risk. We appreciate all of the good wishes that have flooded in from friends around the state and country. Napa, Santa Rosa and Petaluma appear to be some of the areas significantly affected. Highway 121 just outside the track located on Arnold Drive also was mentioned. More information is here via sfgate.com. Sonoma Raceway hosts a round of the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series and Horizon IndyCar Series each year and in 2018 will also host the SCC and National Championship runoffs in October. Further south of Sonoma this weekend at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca in Monterey, Calif. SRO hosts the California 8 Hours, a round of the Intercontinental GT Challenge, on a weekend that also features Mazda Motorsports Global MX-5 Challenge. Pirelli World Challenges Touring Car Classes Season Finale, and the Pirelli GT3 Cup. Trophy USA. Sonoma sent through a few photos, below. Follow at Tony DeZeno.